Okay, Yard Fanatics, welcome back to another episode of Bermuda Grass Central with the Big Yard Dog himself, BYD. Hey guys, I know you've been asking a lot of questions, BYD. Where are these videos at, man? Listen, I've been so busy, I'm trying to catch up. But guys, you know what today is. Today is the day that BYD is going to aerate his lawn. You see it in the background back there, guys. You see that in the background. That is a Ryan aerator. This is the same aerator that I use to do the um, overseeding your Bermuda lawn video. All right, so let's get to it. You're watching Bermuda Grad Central, changing the world one yard at a time. Yard fanatics, look, I'm gonna jump right into this video. As you can see, the yard is looking kind of whitish, all right? We are still battling that rye grass, guys. And like I said, I'm not gonna make all this long, but in those spots where I had that washout, that grass, you can see it right here. Let me zoom in on it and let you see. That is Bermuda grass coming up in it, and you can see it's a totally different color. All right, that's why I had that washout, but guys, where this part back here, we got some work to do. That's all I got to tell you. That's why the septic system is that when you stay out in the country, we don't have the fancy sewer system like you guys. So we got a, we got a, a built-in melorganite tank down in there to collect the stuff. But the grass is cut, guys. And I'm just I'm giving you a brief rundown. This is the backyard. Let me tell you what happened back here. We did the purely organic, and I came back and hit it with a liquid iron treatment chelated or chelated however you want to pronounce it dose of iron now you can see it's green we're keeping this thing cut at one inch with the uh, snapper 22 inch all-wheel drive self propelled mower with the honda 160s g cv engine on it all right but i don't know if you guys could tell That is hybrid, that is sod. The hybrid grass grows different from the sod. This is the grass that BYD planted himself, all right? The reason we're gonna aerate today, we're gonna put some holes in this grounds and hopefully they'll, they'll be decent size. I want two inches, but we probably won't get but an inch. But we're gonna try to get this as deep as possible and we're going with a synthetic fertilizer, guys. The reason I'm doing this, I wanna boost this grass up. All right, now the synthetic fertilizer that I'm talking about is the one that you can buy in the stores. Let's go 24011 has iron in it. I did not go to site one to buy my fert today. I want to put down the same fert that you'll probably get after seeing this video. All right, so we're looking real good back here, guys. Let me zoom in on it. Like I said, this is an aeration video, but you got to see this part first. All right, we still have some pour dying off you see it it's yellowing this whole field right here was full of poor all that notice you see shade on it bermuda does not like shade for those guys who are sitting here who are going to go ahead and say oh your yard is effed up you are right but i'm pretty much the only guy that's going to show you a destroyed yard and i'm going to bring it back and that part over there's looking good we just gave it a cut with that, on this side, guys, we use the X mark. I'm at an inch and a half, and I'm gonna have to keep it at an inch and a half because I gotta get this grass to die out. All right, when it does die, I'm not gonna add any chemicals to kill it off. I'm gonna let it naturally die off. We're gonna plug it today. We're gonna hit it with a 24011 from Lesco, and we're gonna go from there. There's a more. She's had a hard day at work. And guys, I'm just going to show you what we got here. We're going to use the Lesco spreader. We're going to use the 24011. But guys, let's get to the star of the show. show. The star of the show is the Ryan Aerator. So BYD is about to go ahead and pull this off. Guys, if you want to know more about this, got it from Home Depot, rented it. I'm on the four-hour limit. I can go longer, but I'm trying to save some money. So we're going to try to plug up this yard in a couple of hours and get it back to Home Depot. So let's go ahead and pull it off the truck. Hey, you are, and that's, this is the uh, Ryan. I want you to see it. 
Easy steer technology air raid, all right? Now, it seems to me everything with a Honda engine on it runs good. So you see it has a Honda GX120 engine on it. All right, but guys, I just want to give you a walk around real quick. So that you see what this thing look like. Now, this is the Pro Series model. And what makes it Pro, if you look in the back, we have five sets of tines. Tines are the those right there with the holes in it and they have a little spike on the end. Hopefully I can zoom in on it. And what that does is poke holes in the ground, pull a plug up, the plug will discharge through that hole right there and fall back into the soil. Alright. It's not that hard to operate, but it will wear you out. Alright, right here we got the weights that's gonna go in. I'm gonna go ahead and put these weights in it. I had to take them off, take it off the truck. So guys, look, just, just get right to it. Let's get started. Okay, you are fanatics. Air ready to whip my ass. Before you take it back, let me show you an easy way to clean it if it's not muddy. If, if you aerate it and it's dry, let me show you a quick way to clean it without rinsing it off. All right. if you saw that but what I did was I just blew it off all right you see those tines that have dirt in it all right get you a screwdriver or something poke them out you saw me tilt it back but I didn't have it dropped to where the tines were in the ground you activate that that'll make the tines spin take your blower and blow them out that way you won't have a muddy situation all right that's only if you know you you aerate it and it was pretty much dry all right, pro tip from BYD.
little mechanism up like that. Which one? Right here on the weight. Pull that weight out. Slap right out. Look, okay, you are fanatics. It's, 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 it got late. I got that, um, um, aerator back to Home Depot. And like I said, we're going to finish this video, video up tomorrow morning. Um, cause right now it's dinner time. So it's going to be a smooth transition, but just so you can see, these are some of the plugs that I pulled out. All right. That one's broke up, but I'm, I was pulling roughly about an inch inch and a half every now and then I will see a two inch plug and the plugs in the back are a little different from the ones in the front but let me show you this real quick before we go I like the way that plug looks you see all that dark up there that's what well, that's what we call good soil and then the bottom is clay now when I first started it was a lot of clay soil back here but this is the hybrid plug right here and I mean by Tiffway 419 and over here you got the common Bermuda plugs. And like I said, I want you to look at these. These are still a whole lot clay because my underground rhizomes are not spreading good in thick clay soil. You get a lot of stolon top runner pr production when you have clay soil. Guys, if you want to push your soil, you're going to have to push your car with a uh, high nitrogen. You know, mill organite and purely organic are awesome. But if you if you got a lot of spots like that and you're really trying to push that lawn, you're gonna have to probably push over to a synthetic 24-011 is what I got. You can go higher than that. Bear in mind, if you're going with that super high nitrogen, you'll be doing a whole lot of cutting. So we'll finish this up tomorrow, guys. And um, I'll see you in just a second. Hey, you are fanatics. Today is May six uh monday almost i don't know if you can see that almost 12 o'clock and guys look all right we, we did the aeration all right and i'm gonna walk and talk all right like i said this part over here the one that catches the least amount of sunlight because of we have trees on the side back we got an alleyway but we also have the shade from that all right that spot right there that's the septic area and if any of you guys have a septic tank in your yard you already know the shallow right there so you will get that now we went on ahead and put some sand on top of it we'll see where we're going to go from there all right for those of you looking at the video like this one guy who sent me a message can't think of his name said my yard was effed up you are correct but i am one of the ones that will show you how to bring it back from the dead now i have a couple of videos where i did a yard like that we brought it back from the dead but i like to show you and let you go along for the ride i don't like to bring you out here for a totally perfect yard and show you the products that i may or may not actually put on there but you don't know you just see a green yard and you're going on their work hey we're gonna pull some plugs up all right, and I'm going to walk around. You can see it's, it's plugged deep. It's plugged deep. All right, and this is the hybrid side. That side over there, that's common. All right. And as you can see, it's starting to fill in. All right, and we're going to hit this thing hard here in just a few. Um, that's going to be in the next video. We're going to ride this one for 24-011. Let's go 3% iron. And I'm also br bringing online... A new product that I found. Some of you may have used it. It's a um, liquid um, fertilizer. And I'll show you the picture right up there in the corner. All right. I'm going to pick up a few plugs as I go. So we can just kind of look at them. That poor area. You see it's dying off. 
like I said, now that comes from the treatment and it also comes from it's just the heat is starting to pick up. All right. And this area of this lawn is going to be thin because it's always shaded. And for you people who don't know anything about Bermuda grass, Bermuda grass does not like shade. You look at my border. It's all dirt because the trees are preventing that. I got a few runners that try to make it over there, but they don't. Right here, however, it's looking good. All right, this side is starting to come around. And like I said, the only fertilizer we used so far was a uh, purely organic, which is a 1004. I hope I'm saying, I hope that's right. All right, let's pull a plug over here. Now these plugs are different on the side that you got the, um, ryegrass you know that's what comes from that's a lot of mulching that I did you can see the difference you see that all right guys in my neighbor yard let me show you this they got a few weeds in there and she was really complaining about the uh, weed treatment program that I, I don't, I'm not gonna say the name of the company but it's a company that came out and I basically had to explain to her, like I explained to some of y'all. Guys, it's gonna take time. It does not happen overnight. You have to keep it mowed. You know, I mow my yard at least twice a week now. This, this week I mowed it three times. And I'm mowing it three times, especially in the front, because I'm trying to keep this, get this ryegrass out of here. That's gonna take a minute. Also, mowing stimu stimulates growth. Excessive mowing, <laughs> that's the three, three times a week, will start to stimulate rhizomes. All right, rhizomes are the top, excuse me, not rhizomes, stolons. Stolons are the top runs. You aerate because you open up the soil, you release the compaction, you introduce more air, more water, more nutrients into the soil so they can get to the roots. All right. That's why we aerate the lawn. All right. To answer some of those questions, where's BYD Jr.? BYD Jr. is constantly in school now, so he's not out with me. I basically use him in the summertime. I'll put it to you like that. Uh, why did I eat purely organic? Please watch that video to the end and you'll see why. How do I get it green? I said this in a video I made last year. Iron is the key. Regardless of what everybody is telling you, putting down 50 and 60% nitrogen, forcing growth, iron is the key. All right. The products that I'm going to throw on here that let's go 24011 has 3% iron and the liquid lawn also has iron in it also. All right, that's going to boost it up and that's going to get it green. That liquid iron, excuse me, that liquid fertilizer I'm talking about, it's pretty much like a micro macro stack. It has humic acid, worm castings, all kinds of stuff built in. That's going to get this grass going, growing. So if you're having issues and it's not where you like it, guys it takes time don't get your yard confused or mixed up with your neighbors or somebody else's yard you see that may be green yours everybody so yard, okay, yard is different. look i hope i answered some of your questions how low should you be mowing it one inch of lower um should i bag only bag if you got a lot of weeds um if you don't have a lot of weeds you should be consistently mulching um, what were some of the other questions? Why do you wear shades? I wear shades because I'm outside all the time, the UP, UV protection for my eyes. And also, just so you know, when YouTubers are looking at their recording device, if they start to look off to the camera lens, which is by nature, then you'll look cockeyed because my eyes won't be looking at you. It'll be looking at the camera lens, all right? Um, 
I'm trying to think of some of those other questions that people were asking me. Um, uh, I can't think of any at this time. If you got any other questions, go ahead, put them down below, guys. Comment. The next video is on the way. Make sure you aerate your lawn. You have to do it at least once. If you can do it twice a season, that's even better. That goes for Bermuda and fescue. Now, with fescue, if you're going to aerate twice, normally you do it in the fall, overseed. You're doing it at the beginning of the spring. You can overseed again if you want to. Bermuda grass, you do it right when dormancy breaks or a little bit when it's a 60% green up. You go ahead and aerate. And you can aerate again technically right before the heat starts to bake down in the summertime. All right, that way you can open up that ground, let more water in if you're getting any. And guys, those of you who have a sprinkler system, if you're going to aerate, please mark off the um, sprinkler heads. You don't want the aerator to run over those. How do you do it? You can circle the sprinkler head with marker dye, but the better way to do it would be get the flags and put them all over the yard so you will know exactly where the... Um, water heads are and also mark off the the control box if you have one sitting out in the lawn you want to make sure you do this because you don't want your guy to run over it all right guys like i said i'm not going to keep tying you up this was the aeration video the next video i'm going to show you how to fertilize and we're going to also start humic acid a lot of guys ask me byd um what do you think about humic acid you know byd is always about being honest this will be my first time actually using it. And normally when I first time trying to use a product, I go ahead and try to research it to death before I actually introduce it to people. Because some of this stuff I hear is, I can't really say what I want to say, but always read the review on anything that you buy, guys, especially if you go to Amazon. And like I said, if you need to purchase any of the items that you've seen on a BYD Bermuda Grass video, you can always go to www.amazon.com slash shop slash Bermuda Grass Central. That'll help boost the channel, guys. Like I said, BYD is not trying to make a killing, but you can't keep doing these videos for free, guys. Something has to pay for all this equipment and chemicals and all that stuff we bring to you. So if you found this video helpful and you learned something, Please click on that subscription button right now. Don't wait. Click on it now. Click the notification bell. Also, guys, YouTube, even if you click the, the notification bell, the way the algorithm works, if you start watching a lot of tech videos, even though you are subscribed to certain channels, you may not get the notification from them because the algorithm is starting to say that you're watching more tech videos or more how, how to cook videos or more makeup videos or whatever you're, you're into so constantly always check your favorite youtubers website uh, channel and just to make sure that they hadn't released any videos like i said i'm on all the platforms facebook instagram tumblr <laughs> yes tumblr uh, what's the other one uh twitter uh and matter, matter of fact scan that code right there and you can follow me on twitter all right so I'm going to go ahead and sign off, guys. Just remember one thing. You are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.